Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We have to prove the orthogonal properties of the Chebyshev polynomials. The orthogonal properties of the Chebyshev polynomials are stated as that on the interval minus 1 to 1, the orthogonal, pro orthogonal properties of Chebyshev polynomials we have integral minus 1 to 1 tn x into tm x dx over 1 minus under root of x square is equal to 0 if n is not equal to m and it is equal to pi if n is equal to m and sorry as n is equal to m and is equal to 0 and both are equal to 0 and this is equal to if n and m are equal to each other but they are not equal to 0 then this is equal to pi by 2 so we want to prove it prove is very simple we use the uh, trigonometric definition of the of the Chebyshev polynomial that if we put x is equal to cos theta then dx is equal to what was dx is equal to minus sin theta d theta thus tn x will become cos n theta and tm x will become cos m theta and the, what about limits limits is when x is minus 1 so it means theta is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 so cos theta is equal to pi and when x is equal to 1 uh, x is equal to 1 then theta is uh, equal to cos inverse of 1 cos inverse of 1 0 so limits become minus uh, pi to 0 thus our integral uh, becomes pi to 0 cos m theta into cos n theta into dx to kya jayega minus sin theta d theta over 1 minus x to kya jayega 1 minus cos to kya theta now 1 minus cos to kya theta is sin to kya theta under root of sin cancel ho jayega to amal ko jayega sin theta over sin theta so this is cancelled this negative when we take this negative out then these limits are reversed and become 0 to pi so our integral becomes 0 to pi cos m theta cos n theta d theta now we have three cases first case is when m is not equal to n so when m is not equal to n then what is what we get so when m is not equal to n then the integral becomes 0 to pi cos m theta cos n theta d theta both are different so we can treat them that is cos a cos b so we know that 2 cos a into cos b becomes cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so use this formula so to make this to apply this formula we will uh, multiply and divide by 2 so we got 1 by 2 into 2 cos m theta cos n theta d theta uh, this m theta is a and n theta is b so it become cos m theta plus n theta or cos m plus n theta plus cos m minus n theta d theta so we have humne kya kiya humne do alag alag integral le liye hain theek hai ab isko integral le pehle ka pehle ka integral lenge to kya aayega cos ka integral hota hai sin so it is sin m plus n theta divided by the derivative of angle derivative of angle becomes m plus n similarly for second integral uh, it becomes sin m minus n theta and the uh, derivative of the angle is m minus n limit is 0 to pi okay so we put it so uh, when we put uh, upper limit is pi so it becomes sin in first integral it becomes sin m plus n pi minus sin 0 over m plus n and in second uh, function becomes sin m minus n pi minus sin 0 over 0 now sin m plus n whatever multiple of pi is sin is 0 so it is 0 sin 0 also 0 again this is some multiple of pi so sin of multiple of pi is 0 so it becomes 0 plus 0 and 0 plus 0 so it is 0 so 1 by 2 into 0 is equal to 0 so we have proved that when m is not equal to n then t and x what we proved t and x t m x minus 1 to 1 d x over 1 minus x square is equal to 0 when m is not equal to n we have proved this okay now we move on to second uh, second case second case is very easy so second case is when 
m is equal to n is equal to 0. So m is 0, so become cos m theta become cos 0. Because they can't, my pass, he, he, but I, he, my pass. Yes, we are both can I car and get a zero to car zero bandega and get a zero car zero to car zero into car zero bandega car zero is one, so one into one is one, so we will we get zero to pi one into d theta. Okay, so this will become uh, integral of one is theta a limit from zero to pi, so answer will be pi. So we'll prove the second case also. Third case is when m is equal to n but not equal to zero. What, what happened then? Then i is equal to 0 to pi, uh, cos m theta cos n theta, like in the number of the cos m theta, like in d theta, it will become cos square m theta. Up to n will be like the number of the So cos square m theta, up to cos square, the number of the integral half angle identity flu, so cos square is one plus cos 2 theta over 2, so cos square m theta will become one plus cos 2 m theta over 2. अब इसके इंटीग्रेट करें 1 का इंटीग्रल आ गया थीटा और cos का इंटीग्रल आ गया sin 2m थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय एंगल का डेरिवेटिव 2m ये 1 by 2 बाहर आ जाएगा इसको ऐसे लिख दिया लिमिट कहां से है 0 से π तक पहले हम π पुट कर देंगे यहां पर π हो जाएगा और यहां पर क्या आएगा sin 2π m थीटा ओवर 2m फिर 0 पुट करेंगे 0 की जगह sin 0 थीटा की जगह 0 0 आ जाएगा minus sin 0 ओवर 2m अब देखें 1 by 2 ये pi ऐसे ही आ गया sin 2m pi 2 pi का कोई मल्टीपल हो sin का उसकी वैल्यू 0 होते 0 आ गया माइनस ये वाला 0 इधर आ गया प्लस sin 0 अगेन 0 सो ये भी 0 के सारे 0 के हमारे सिर्फ क्या बच गया pi सो वी गेट pi ओवर 2 सो वी हैव प्रूव्ड दिस केस आल्सो सो वी हैव प्रूव्ड द ऑर्थोगोनल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द चेविशे पॉलीनोमियल स्टेटेड एज दैट इन द इंटरवल -1 1 -1 2 1 tan x Dmx dx over 1 minus x square under root is equal to 0 when n is not equal to m, n is equal to pi when n is equal to m but n is equal to 0, and when they are up equal to each other n and m are equal to each other but not equal to 0, then it is equal to pi by 2. So we have proved all three cases. This completes our uh, proof of the orthogonal properties of Chebyshev polynomial. I hope you understand it. If you like this video, please like it, share it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel, channel and also press the bell, bell icon for all notification so that you can, you can get all the notification of my coming videos. Uh, see you in the next video very soon. Until then, Allah Hafiz and take care.